Fall's turning into winter, and William Marbury, a Madison homeless man, knows this change can be especially hard if you're one of the 3,500 people who experience homelessness in Madison each year. If you just put them out in the daytime, they have no place to go. You know, they good chance there'll be a lot of you know, a lot sicker because they're out in the cold all day. Marbury says many businesses won't let the homeless use their facilities for warmth unless they buy something. One business manager tells us the winter months are a struggle to find a balance between supporting the homeless in need and supporting her customers. It does take a toll on your business, regardless of whether or not you try to help or are frustrated and get you know fed up with it really quickly. Um, it is it it does affect who comes in your door, and it does affect who uses your store for whatever and it, you know it does affect your customer base. To address this, the County Board of Supervisors recently approved $25,000 to open a daytime shelter starting in November of this year. Porchlight, an organization working to reduce homelessness in Madison, is partnering with the county on this project. Mayor Soglin and some community members criticized the proposed Wright Street location, but Heidi Whitlinger, a County Board Supervisor and an advocate for the homeless, says this shelter is the first step towards a long-term solution. Really, the solution is housing for all. It is a plan to implement that right for every single person. Um, and, but we need to do that while we de decriminalize homelessness. While many Madisonians think that local government isn't doing much to address Madison's homelessness issues, Weigleitner's newly formed Homelessness Issues Committee meets regularly to discuss solutions like the proposed daytime shelter to try to get to the root of Madison's homeless problem. However, Weigleitner says there's a very long road ahead. The work of the Homeless Issues Committee in Porchlight doesn't go unnoticed, especially by Marbury. He says he can't stress enough how important a role these shelters play in his life. If it wasn't for Porchlight, I'd be out there on the street. I'm Jose Cornejo for The Badger Report.